Hey everyone, Digital David here. Today I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing this Tekken desktop power strip. It's the PC30 model number. They did send me this product review, but any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. If you're interested in learning more about this item, the link to it will be in my video description below. Please go ahead, check it out, do your shopping from that link. This is how it's going to come packaged to you straight from Amazon in a really nice box. I've reviewed a bunch of other Tekken products on my channel, so be sure to check out those video reviews as well. I love the presentation of their products. They just have really clean and simple designs, and everything looks really nice, and they just do a really great job on their packaging. So today, we're going to have three power outlets and three USB ports. The USBs are 2.4 amp max, and that's automatically recognized depending on your device. AC input is 100, 240 volts, 50 to 60 hertz. Rated power is 1250 watt, 10 amp max at 125 volts AC. So now let's go ahead and open it up. Here are all your package contents right here. We have your user guided manual complete with some nice illustrations walking you through the features and the warranty. Then we actually have your surge protector desktop power strip right here. Everything looks great, really cool. We got three power outlets right there with the power button. Then we got your three USB ports. We have two LED lights indicating protected and normal. And then on this side, we have your overload protection button. It'll automatically trigger in the event that you have exceeded the maximum amount of power allowed for this device. So now let's go ahead. Let's undo the cord and power it up. Here is the whole product stretched out. So you have a little less than six feet to work with. So that's a really nice amount of length for the power cord to be able to get this from an outlet to your desk. Now we'll go ahead and plug it in. I have it plugged in right now. We got it powered on. Both of the lights have now lit up. We're good to go. Want to point out really quick a cool feature. They have this built-in channel right here, so you can just set your device. So if you want to plug it in to charge, you can do that really easily. And you could still view messages and use your device if you are working. So it just goes right in, fits perfectly in that groove to prop your phone or device up. Also want to point out, really like the feet on this product. They do a good job of keeping it stationary on your desk or table as well. Obviously, it can still slide if you pull it, but it does a good job just keeping it in place. I brought this little USB tester, so now I thought it'd be fun we could go ahead and measure each USB port. Got my tester here plugged into the first USB port. We're showing 4.95 volts. Second port, we're showing 4.95 volts. And last but not least, the third port, we're showing 4.95 volts. Now I got a USB cable here, so we'll plug the charger in, then the cable, and then my phone to see what we're drawing in regards to amps. So right now with the USB port, I'm showing 5 volts, 1.38 amps. So with this cable, my phone tells me right away, we're just doing a normal charge right now. We are not doing a fast charge through there so I believe it doesn't have enough amps right now for this device to make the battery fast charge but let's try another USB port and see we're charging again showing the same thing we're drawing 1.38 amps and the last port same thing 5.01 volts 1.38 amps we're going to try one more USB cable we'll do a USB type C to USB type C so I got a USB type C to USB type C cable plugged in right now. Now we're showing that we're only getting 0 0.07, 0 0.08 amps output, but we're still charging our device normally. So it's not the fast charge, but it's not a slow charge either. I'm going to move it to a different port. We're showing 4.86 volts and again 0 0.08 amps. And last but not least, moving it to that last port, same thing, 4.86 volts and 0 0.08 amps. So everything works great on the USB ports. For my Pixel 2, they did not charge it fast, but it definitely didn't charge it slow, which is nice. So expect your average charging time from those USB ports. And then all the power plugs will go ahead. We'll take my little voltage tester and we'll bring a lamp to make sure they all work. Back here now with my voltage pen just to test every outlet right there. We can even get the USBs to work. And I brought this lamp so we can try each plug out. Second one and the third outlet. Everything works great. Really happy with this product. Just want to point out my favorite feature again, how it can be used for your phone. What a brilliant idea. It just shows you the engineering and thought that Tekken puts into their product. So I'm definitely a big fan of this. Again, the link to it is in my video description below. Be sure to check it out. 
Also, if you're in the market for some other great electronics, be sure to check out my other tech and review videos. They'll be linked throughout this video and they're on my channel. So be sure to watch some of those in case there's multiple items that you want to purchase from them. Thank you guys so much for being here. Go ahead, hit that like button for me. Subscribe to my channel. I can't do this without you guys being here. And I have new content coming out daily. So be sure to subscribe and stay tuned. Also, if you could follow me on social media, I'd be really thankful for you to do that. You can follow me on Instagram. You can follow me on Twitter. And you can like my Facebook page. So please give it a clean sweep and follow all of them. You can also join my free newsletter. You can check out my website. You can message me on WeChat. And I can't wait to see you in my next video. Thanks.